Welcome to week four, episode five. All right, so yesterday we got to learn about the Irish Cubist artist, Mary Swansea. And today we're gonna to be learning about Robert Delaunay. And he was a French artist that was born April 12th, 1885 in Paris, France. So Robert Delaunay was from Paris. He was a Parisian, a French artist. And just like most Cubists, he was known for his brilliant colors and his strong geometric shapes and his straight lines. So in just a moment, I'm going to switch the screen and we're gonna get to see some of those artworks that I just told you about. Don't forget during this time, if you want to pause the video, you can and share out with someone nearby and we can practice our table talk. Don't forget, we wanna pretend like we're in the classroom. Here we go. Here we have a self-portrait of Robert Delaunay. Window on the city number three. I want you to focus on one triangle. Now look inside. Do you see the little tiny squares? Simultaneous windows on the city. I like how Delaunay painted over the canvas and painted on the frame. Window. I know this doesn't look like a window, but maybe the colors represent what you see when you would look outside the window, like a sky. All right, so we got to see some of Robert Delaunay's Cubist paintings. When you were looking at them, could you really tell what they were? Could you say, yes, that's a seascape, or yes, that is a guitar? Some of them, no, you cannot. You can't tell what they are. They are just a design. He just uses geometric shapes, straight lines, and color. Is that okay to make an artwork like that? Yes, it is. All right, so at this moment, I'm going to switch that screen again, and we're gonna to get to do a draw along video. So at this time, if you wanna pause the video and go ahead and grab a pencil and paper, you can go ahead and draw along with me. Here we go. All right, you might wanna grab a ruler or a book for a straight edge so your lines will be nice and straight. We're gonna take our ruler Line it up with the corners. Make sure it's touching the corners, like where the red arrows are. And you're gonna draw your straight line all the way down. Take your time. Then we're going to turn the ruler the opposite direction and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Remember to line up the corners and hold the ruler as you're drawing your line from the top all the way down to the bottom. Take your time, go slow. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep making straight lines. So we are gonna turn the ruler around and we're gonna start to make more triangles because as you see, we have one, two, three, four triangles now. And <clears throat> accidentally undid that and now we're going to take our ruler up to the top and I'm going to draw a straight line and I'm going to make a smaller triangle remember to use your ruler and hold your ruler as you are drawing so your ruler doesn't move and I'm just going to keep taking my ruler making sure my ruler is touching the lines and drawing my my straight lines to make all of those different triangles and so that's all i'm doing is making triangles with my straight lines take your time and just see how many triangles you can make and see if you can break them down into smaller triangles you can make a big one into a smaller one by just using a line because remember we're making a cubist drawing and we're doing a drawing that's inspired by Delaunay. And he did a lot of artwork that we couldn't really tell if it was a still life or a seascape. It was more of a design. So your drawing doesn't really have to look like anything. And you don't have to copy mine. You can just keep making your own lines wherever you want. But if you want to follow along with me, that is fine. And if I'm going too fast and you want to follow along, don't forget that you can pause the video. So I just keep moving my ruler around 
and drawing those straight lines and making sure that I'm holding the ruler as I'm drawing my lines. We want to make sure that we break those big, those large two triangles into smaller triangles. This is going to look really cool when we get to add our color. Remember to take your lines all the way to the edge, to the edge of the paper, and that they're connecting with the other lines. I'm almost done with that triangle and soon I'm going to move up to the top and that is going to be my last triangle to complete. It's kind of looking pretty cool. It looks like a mosaic or a broken window right now. Remember to take your time. If you're following along, you can pause the video. And remember to keep holding that ruler in the middle when you're drawing your straight lines. If you make a mistake, that's okay. Maybe you try to use the mistake or if you just erase it, if you go over the lines, that's okay. And I think I'm thinking about doing a cool colored palette for my drawing. So I think I'm gonna use purple, and some greens and different shades of blue for my drawing today. You can kind of think about how you're going to color yours. Maybe you want to do all warm or all cool or both, or you could do primary like red, yellow, and blue, or maybe even all secondary colors like green, orange, or purple. almost done. I'm trying to make some smaller triangles, turn those big triangles into small triangles and make sure I fill my page that there is no empty space with no lines. All right, now we're going to add our color. I think I'm going to use cool colors. All right, so we got to pretend like we were Robert Delaunay, the French Cubist artist. And next week, I will be back with a new genre, which means style of painting and a new artist. Don't forget, if you want to share your drawing on our virtual art gallery, you can email it to me at the email below this video. I will see you next week. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.